हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल डीपी डिजाइन एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस सीरीज ऑफ फॉर्मूला स्टूडेंट सो राइट नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड दी स्केच ब्लॉक्स एंड हाउ टू डू अ थ्री डी स्केच बट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू शो हाउ टू बिल्ड अ चीजिस फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच ओके आई एम नॉट फॉलोइंग एनी रूल्स राइट नाउ बिकॉज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शोकेस हाउ टू मेक इट ओके फर्स्ट देन वी विल फॉलो द रूल्स देन वी विल मेक द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पैम्पलेट्स टेम्पलेट्स and uh, also how to apply those templates how it should pass the driving position all we will see but before that just as a basic fundamental what you need to know in the software to build the chassis right so that you should know before moving on to the advanced part of the chassis okay as we have seen in the last video for a 3d sketch we have drawn a front bulkhead then main hoop and connected uh, connected them from uh, to build the other members right we have created several points as well so let's start with that i will create one box over here which is 400 by 400 mm 400 and this is 400 okay this is my front bulkhead dimensions and i will click it okay and let's say i'm assuming the distance between uh, main hoop and front roll hoop i'm just assuming okay don't take this dimension as a perfect dimension okay so let's assume it is a 500 okay so as you can see i will click it a flip offset and now as you can see my plane has been created if you, your bottom of front bulkhead and a bottom of the main hoop is in the same plane then you can start with the sketch reference of this okay that is no problem and i will do a normal two okay now you can select the midpoint line and create the line from here so that equal distance will be there otherwise you have to do two uh, two lines so uh, let's assume uh, this is the 550 mm long and uh, the height will be around okay 500 i will take and this is the our reference okay now as you can see i have created this box now time to give the dimension let's say 500 mm i am giving and this also okay because it is given below you don't have to uh, apply over this okay this is also 500 okay but your sketch is blue why because it is not fixed anywhere so what you have to do you just have to click both and uh, click the collinear or uh, coincident so that it will be uh, okay and also you have to align this point with uh, your origin so that it will not move anywhere let's say i'm keeping it vertical your sketch is fully defined okay now one thing remains uh, we are we forgot to apply the fillets over here now i will apply the fillets okay let's assume it is uh, 100 mm okay done again i am telling this is only for the beginners okay so the the formula student don't take it seriously the uh, distance and all the dimensions uh, because we have not calculated uh, properly so yeah we will uh, give the this distance uh, around 700 mm okay we have to make it big or like roll hoop it is okay rrh it can be called also what you can do for not getting confused you can name your plane like if i am drawing uh, drawing my front bulkhead in the front plane so what you can do you can rename your front plane as a front bulkhead fb like that okay so that you will understand this is my front bulkhead plane and this also this is my mrh okay m r h main roll loop or rear roll loop okay so that's that's how you can give and i am again going into the normal and i will click this is a convert entity because i want to take the same dimensions and i will take the height up to this mark and give it a triangle a beautiful triangle over here okay now i will create one reference line uh okay now done and here some fillet will be there 
so i'm giving between these two lines and bending will be there here okay 180 now i will create the same or you can just mirror this entity in reference of this center line okay so yeah mirror about this line and yes i'm done just because we have not defined any distance uh, this is the blue means under defined sketch so that you can give the dimensions from here to here it will be let's say 900 mm it looks beautiful no okay no problem <laughs> the fillet is very large instead of that we will do something like that okay so as you can see my uh, rrh is created now uh, it's time to give the powertrain members powertrain uh, here okay so you have to create new planes uh, around 200 or 300 mm whatever you can give okay 300 and i will take a plane quantity of two because i don't want to take another plane because uh okay so i'm giving the two different planes okay but uh, this plane is very far so what i can do i can do take the another plane which is 150 mm uh, away from last plane also flip offset okay done here you can draw one midpoint line i will draw midpoint okay and here it will be 150 by 150 mm i'm guessing the dimensions uh okay 150 so just because of knowledge you don't have to start this is design first you have to design suspensions you have to design brakes all you have to uh, design first okay because if you start your chassis design first then it will be very complex to uh, put your suspension into it so before moving on to that you can create your uh, suspension design first then move on other uh, separate subsystems okay same i will do this here convert entity convert entity from this sketch reference okay okay convert that's all so as you can see i have created a separate sketches for that sometimes people used to uh, sketch on the side plane and they are taking reference in their driving position they draw first uh, driver position and they then they took the points that is also a correct method and uh, after driving position this is also correct method okay whatever you prefer uh, it will be okay uh, for un un until and unless it doesn't create any errors uh, with the or conflict with any driver position so you can use 3d sketch while connecting this those uh, points okay so i'm i'm using shortcuts so don't get confused uh, from where i am taking the lines okay so i'm connect uh, connecting dots first second double click first click okay and then from this point to this point my sim member is getting ready you know okay so here it will be yes my sim member is getting ready also you can uh, move mirror your uh, 3d sketches as well after some update around uh, i don't know but uh, 2021 or 22 they introduced the 3d sketch mirroring i don't know which year uh, they released but you can also mirror the 3d sketches okay so there is no issue you can uh, draw your 3d sketch on one side and you can mirror the whole systems and yeah you can proceed okay just like that i'm not creating uh, any points for reference as in the last video this and this okay so as you can see you can slightly make or otherwise you can create points i have i have so shown in the last video so you can refer that as well so as you can see i have created also you can connect these dots done bracing members okay 
so as you can see yes i am done with that and you can connect this or mirror those okay there is no issue or uh, if you want to see i can show you entities to mirror let's say i am selecting these entities okay this is also there this is not there this is not there this is not there this is not there okay and i'm selecting the plane the middle plane as you can see my system has been created if it is create uh, if your plane is in the middle then it will create a proper otherwise there will be some issue or conflict with your design right and yeah remaining points i am connecting right now line and yes okay so if you click it okay my chassis has been created so on this chassis uh, or frame we will perform the operation of a weldments okay in the next video and then we will start the uh, advanced chassis design according to your driver position okay so you have to first uh, uh, draw the driver driver uh, dimensions driver sketch or th uh, 3d model uh, should be there so we will perform that and then uh, we will move on to the separate subsystems uh, slowly slowly because uh, we have to learn very accurate how to design a car so that's how we will move ahead slowly slowly and yeah that's all for the video uh, if you really like the video if you learn from it keep sharing keep loving and keep supporting keep learning thank you so much guys and uh, i want to thank you again for the uh, first payment of youtube i have received so uh, all congratulations to you as well and uh, thanks to you uh, just because of you uh, this channel grows and uh, we automobile uh, group is growing so yeah i'm happy for that and uh, let's continue further and achieve more and more together okay thank you so much for the video uh, see you again in the next video.